this is where we're going, right? Shatu Ma Sun. Ew, what a dump. I'm so stupid. Anybody could have learned this dumb language by now. Here I've listened to nothing but French for the past two mois. Et je ne sais pas un mot. Eh? Mais je parle français maintenant. Incroyable! Get ready for two weeks at the happiest place on earth. Tijuana! South of the border, down Mexico way. That's where I fell in love. I'm sorry we couldn't take a cab, but I spent my last dollar on the plane tickets. Are we in India yet? No. 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 Oh, wait. Now we are. There she is, the world's first convenience store. This isn't very convenient. Must you dump on everything we do? He is the benevolent, enlightened president and CEO of Quickie Mart and in Ohio, Stapo Mart. You may ask me three questions. Are you really the head of the Quickie Mart? Yes. Really? Yes. You? Yes. I hope this has been enlightening for you. But I must... Thank you. Come again. But... Thank you. Come again. Let's go backwards in here. No. To combat homesickness, we've installed a device that makes them swirl the correct American way. Not knitting yarn. Ah, guys, I. What the? Back then, I was known as Sergeant Simpson, and I commanded the Flying Hellfish. We were all from Springfield, Sheldon Skinner. All right, very funny. Private Fifth Class Ernie Gumbo. Uh. Then there was also Griff Asa Oxenetch. Purpose of visit. We have no choice but to abandon communism. Aww. I know, I know, I know. But we all knew from day one this mumbo jumbo wouldn't fly. Yeah. I'll call Washington and tell them they won. America tried to kill you. Ah, they're not so bad. They even named the street after me in San Francisco. That's all I was going to it. It's full of what? Will you at least permit us to live in your socialist paradise? You're talking about Cuba? You really think you can capture the Loch Ness Monster? I mean, he's eluded Leonard Nimoy and Peter Graves. The beast looks something like this, only without the saucy t-shirt. He's been down in that icy water for hours. Welcome to Japan, folks. The local time is tomorrow. Here's our room. Homer, you're supposed to slide those doors open. I don't have time for that. Welcome. I am honored to accept your waste. <gasps> They're years ahead of us. Check it out. Dad's on TV. Oh, yeah. 
There's the Imperial Gardens, the Meiji Shrine, the Hello Kitty Factory. I am average American Jew salaryman waiter. Don't you serve anything that's even remotely Japanese? I don't know anything. I am product of American education system. I also build poor quality cars and inferior style electronics. <gasps> oh, they got our number. Isn't that Woody Allen? The only Fujikawa rice crackers make your interiors go bananas. What did I do to deserve this? All right. Our game shows are a little different from yours. Your shows reward knowledge. We punish ignorance. Ignore what? No! We'll cut you down as soon as you answer one question about Japan. Is the answer Japan? Actually, it is. That means you move on to the lightning round. <laughs> Doesn't look so bad. Hi there, little fella. Keep it with you. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Forget everything you learned in missionary school. Done. Uh, what was that? Oh, we call that. <laughs> Sorry, fish bone in my throat. We call that earthquake. First month was pretty rough. You've only been gone two days. Really? Without TV, it's hard to know when one day begins and the other ends. But now I've learned to love this island as my second... Oh, please! Stop! Get me off this stinking rock! Maybe you'll hit the jackpot, get off this island, and spend the rest of your days in a tropical paradise. How can eights be one and eleven? Huh? What kind of god would allow that? I gave you a glittering Vegas, and you turned it into a... Genki Atlantic City! Your alcohol and inexpensive buffets have corrupted us. How many times must we go to church to avoid hell? Every Sunday for the rest of our lives. <laughs> no, really. Prepare for our landing in Tanzania. I'm sorry, it is now called New Zanzibar. Excuse me, it is now called Pepsi Presents New Zanzibar. Isn't that cute? A bush baby. Where? Ah, choo, choo. Oh, man. I just bought this shirt. Who's Mantu? He is our leader. He seized power in a bloodless coup. All smothering. This mosquito net's not working. No, no. You have it inside out. There. Don't let the bed bugs paralyze. Homie, did you remember to tip Katenge? No, he did not. Oh, look, everybody. Wow. It just rolled over to 10,000. This song has been going on for hours. Yeah, it's like the Omen Brothers. <laughs> Being eaten by a crocodile is just like going to sleep in a giant blender. Oh no! It's eating us! Not a chance! Wow, Dad, how did you do that? It's a flower. Oh, wasn't that sweet? He named it after his wife. No, Dr. Bushwell is a woman. Well, now I've heard everything. Thanks for the grub. Props. Whatever. Ah, oh, there's a burst of flavor. And I love your sensible ponytail. Well, thank you. See, Jojo, she likes it. After dark, I come home and think about chimps until it's time for bed. You must be the most boring woman on Earth. I mean, I knew scientists wasted their lives, but jeez. She's hidden diamonds everywhere. Even on the soles of her shoes. She's one of the ten richest chimp researchers in the world. <laughs> Wow, this bus station is the birthplace of Paul Schaefer. Dad, no, it says don't walk. Doesn't matter. They have free health care. <laughs> Whoa, I'm rich. We're closing in five minutes. Would a U.S. dollar change your mind? American currency. 
What time would you like your breakfast, sir? You can see them shooting the film Canadian Graffiti. Oh, I see you drive on the left up here. No, ma'am. I'm drunk. I can't believe we're on the Canadian Olympic basketball team. Yep, it's just that easy. Ugh. Wow, that was close. You can be the center. <gasps> Look, it's the giant statue of Christ on Corcovado. Wow, it's like he's on the dashboard of the entire country. Ah, yes. Ronaldo, he went out months ago. And we haven't heard from him since. Every day we light a candle for him. Have you tried looking for him? That's plan B. Can you fly me over town to look for him? <coughs> we nuns cannot fly. Oh, too much junk in the trunk, eh? Yes. Excuse me, Americans! <gasps> How did you know? There is a dress code on this beach, but we can help you. Oh, well. Oh, I hope they're going somewhere good. Ah! No, 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 no. <sighs> My American friend, I'm afraid that this is a kidnapping. So that means I don't have to pay the fare. I, I suppose. Uh... Take me, but let the boy go. I'm afraid he has already gone. Oh. Behold, the Amazon. But quick, because we are burning it down. I have a bladder the size of a Brazil nut. Uh, we just call them nuts here. I have another itch. Yeah, well, scratch it yourself. I'm not going there again. If your family wants to see you alive again, they would be wise to pay. Well, I don't know. They've been seeing me alive for free for a long time. We have $1,200. That'll buy you, uh... One of my legs, or something they call a mystery bag. Twelve hundred dollars? You've already eaten that much. Oh, come on. I didn't... That, uh, I mean, well, maybe. I tried to write, but I didn't know what state you lived in. If you look at the clues, you can figure it out. Here is the ransom for your father. Are you sure you can afford it? I make as much as Malcolm in the middle. And because I have no parents, my earnings remain unstolen. I made a little scrapbook to remember the kidnapping. This is a cigarette butt you burned me with. You slept like a baby that night. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all that pink and purple. Our money sure is gay. <laughs> we should make these transfers in a safer place. It was Homer's idea. You say no to that face. Hello. Welcome to the United Kingdom. What should we see first? New Americans love castles. There's a huge one in Edinburgh, the city where I was born. The place I was born is now a gator farm. Smashing. Every cab has its own butler. Actually, I'm not a butler. I had already hired this cab when you got in, but the more the merrier and all that. Make with the tea, Jeeves. Yes, very good, sir. Look, it's J.K. Rowling, author of the Harry Potter books. Can you tell me what happens at the end of the series? He grows up and marries you. Is that what you want to hear? Yes. We thespians believe it's bad luck to mention the name of this particular play. You mean Macbeth? You'll curse us all! What, by saying Macbeth? Ah! Stop saying it! Saying what? Macbeth! Now I've said it. Macbeth! Macbeth! Bart, stop saying Macbeth! Mom, you said Macbeth! I have a performance to give. Good luck! It's bad luck to say that, too! <gasps> we Americans love queens, be they homecoming or dairy. This woman, however, is an imposter! Her luggage is inscribed H-R-H, -H, which means her real name must be... Henrietta R. Hippo. America rules! Our beetles are way better than your precious Rolling Stones! If I die here, there's one thing I want you to remember. Don't buy any videotapes in England. They won't work in our VCR! We found a secret tunnel out of the tower! Push the gray brick in the back of the fireplace! Sweet freedom! Here I- Ow! Put out the fire first! It's a good thing I'm leaving before I went nuts. Goodbye, sparkly elves! Goodbye! That 
was very sweet of the queen, letting you go in exchange for taking Madonna back to America. Oh, I'm telling you, oh, I'm English. This is my daughter. She's 58. 59 years ago, your mother and I were have, oh, uh, well, gotta go. See you in heaven. Lady, you're gorgeous. You make Dame Edna look like a dude. Food is so delicious here. And these Chanel suits are five for a dollar. No one calls me a fat jerk. I'm a gourmand. The United States has its grandeur and its follies, but mostly it's the place where all our stuff is. But I don't think we're welcome there. There's one group that's always welcome in America. Immigrants without ID. What? Can't we sit on the couch without something happening? Don't! We are gringos who wish to spend mucho dinero in your country. Splendid. Welcome to Canada. Don't! Here are your fake Canadian health cards. Take them to any pharmacy and you'll get enough drugs to make Regina look like Saskatoon. <laughs> I'd like some Vioxx, Coumadin, Albuterol, Prevacid, and an auto-inflate blood pressure monitor seat cuff with case. Anything you like, fellow Canadian. Circle cut my bacon. Look at all these Yankee doodly dandies. Is there another Vietnam going on? Careful. It's hotter than a Fox News weather skank. Hot, hot, hot. Here, let me wrap this wet towel around your head to cool you off. Stop him. He's expressing his faith, eh? We're just innocent tourists. Took another sip. Former U.S. astronaut Homer Simpson was taken into custody. Oh, my butt looks so huge during perp walks. Well, I've always wanted to see a man with the IQ of a child executed by the state. We don't get that up here. In America, we do it four times a week. You can make a woman very happy someday if you just shower and shave and stop swearing under your breath. Thanks, Marge. Know it all, bitch. Oh, uh, did I mention there was a mistake at the front desk? Is it one that will change the sleeping arrangements? Could be. I gotta tell you, I chew in my sleep. Uh, yeah, well, I sweat blood. Good night, both of you. <gasps> Who's watching the kids? You have passport, husband. All we need now is the sack of 10,000 happinesses. <clears throat> Soon you will have a Chinese baby sister who will surpass you academically. I'm considered pretty smart. Tibet was considered pretty independent. How'd that work out? Maybe someday someone will love you too, childless servant. Our star acrobat had an onset of outspokenness and suffered a bullet-related death. Only you can prevent this riot and save our beloved communist dictatorship. You guys are commies? Then why am I seeing rudimentary free markets? Oh, you're curing me with acupuncture. No, uh, porcupine uh, snuck in while you were asleep. Ling, you're gonna be very happy in America, unlike everyone else there. <laughs> no adoption. <gasps> Wow, the fortune cookies here really are more accurate. You never know where there might be a spy. Yes, tell me your plan in detail, American sister. Don't have a cattle, dude. All you need is an expression of utter serenity. Just think about the day you found that junior mint in your belly button. Uh... We cannot leave it outside. It is bad feng shui. Feng shui? I thought that was just a trick to sell crappy end tables to the West. I too work for a cruel and faceless empire, the Department of Motor Vehicles. I was this woman's husband for a few days. In name only, and beer will soon obliterate that memory. My father was a ping pong champion. He died when the ball got stuck in his throat. The Heimlich maneuver was invented the very next day. <laughs> Thank you.
for the next week, I'm from Canada. Oh, I think Dad may blow your cover. That flag is mine. Don't mess with Texas. Shock it all, losers. Shock it all. Wow, I've seen photos of this, but you can't really experience it until you're here. A McDonald's where you can get booze. Don't you want to turn around and see the tower? Eh, there's a picture of it on my cup. People were overcome by volcanic ash so fast that they were frozen in whatever position they were in at the moment of their death. Savages. <laughs> Don't worry, we got the cheese insurance. It doesn't cover Mortadella. No! Stupid Italy. Wish you'd never been unified by Victor Emmanuel II. If only it stayed a loose confederation of city-states. Eh, Americano. Americano? What the hell could that mean? Why can't you people learn to speak my language? I learned to eat your food. Of all the regioni and all the villaggi in all of Italia, you had to be il maiore of this one. My tale begins after I had once again attempted to murder Bart. Okay, so far I'm rooting for you. I needed a fresh start. But where? I always thought you were, you know, out loud and proud. Well, I experimented in college, as one does. Yeah, I never went to college. Stop the presses. Surely even the most heinous criminal deserves a seventh chance. And literature is filled with tales of redemption from Jean Valjean to the voice of Buzz Lightyear, Tim Allen. <laughs> Dad, don't act like Mussolini. Oh, I thought I was doing Donald Trump. <laughs> no wine for her. She's only eight. Marge, don't be so Olive Garden. I hereby swear. Ah, vendetta! Vendetta means vendetta! I feel so sick. <laughs> it's called a hangover, sweetie. And it's an unavoidable part of life. Dad, you're driving on an ancient Roman aqueduct. What am I supposed to use it for? Transporting water to distant urban centers? Oh, opera. They have that here, too? Vendetta, vendetta, vendetta. I don't wish to brag, but he's evil at an eighth grade level. You saved us. Well, I need someone to help me smuggle antiquities to America. Everyone break off a piece and hide it on your person. Hide it well. Where's the University of Notre Dame? The Indy 500, Wrigley Field, Dodger Dog. You have confused India with Indiana, Indiana with Illinois, and the Cubs with the Dodgers. I took a job on the other side of the world. Oh, I hate this subcontinent. A poos cousin is medium height, dark complexion, brown eyes, black hair. <laughs> You'll find his integrity and dedication make him untouchable. I was doing Karnak with my bodyguard. Hindu. What do you call the moisture on your hin? I am very glad to see you favor outsourcing. I myself have found work with several American companies. Ooh, Dallas, Fort Worth, Marriott, how can I help y'all? While we have a cotton bowl special. Go, Aggies! When it comes to running a nuclear power plant, this man's a god! I'm floating down the Ganges with my new chums. Those are corpses. You never like my friends. Thomas sent us this crazy card! He's not a god! We know that. He told us of... Overtime pay. And coffee break. Flex time. Casual Fridays. On-site daycare. Muffin baskets on your birthday. With my large balloons. In fact, he gave them to us in a binding contract. But treating employees like human beings, that is madness! Maybe you should take a personal day. Take one of mine. They're transferable. Go! You're the first man to ever outsource the American worker's sense of entitlement and privilege. Well, I guess we'll have to relocate to an area where the workers are more desperate and ignorant. Springfield. Fired! 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 <gasps> Two months severance. Early retirement! Golden parachutes for all! My caramba! That unpleasantness in Ecuador is behind us. My coca leaf addiction is under control. And Bart is finally trapped. Is that him? No, it's just a bush. Clearly the work of Weracocha, the trickster god. You've taught me a valuable lesson. 
I didn't mean to, I'm just chatty. I sold my business a few years ago and I miss talking to people. <laughs> Welcome to Ireland, also known as the Emerald Isle, Potatoville, East Boston, Freckled Bog, the land of poetry, and the land of bad poetry. On your right, you'll see Cathy Ireland. Hi, everyone! Dunkleberry is so quaint! It looks like the puzzle at the pediatrician's office. Ireland is at the forefront of Europe's tech boom. It's been years since I've sold so much as a pint. Don't you mean pint? I've forgotten how to say it. It's a joke to even call this place a pube. Here's some Bushmills whiskey served in a potato floating in a Guinness stout. I said an Irish drink. <laughs> That's better. Oh, well, you mean all the ingredients, but you don't know the ratio. 50-50? Dicey, dicey, don't. This brandy is 50 years old. Better toss it. Every June 16th, lovers of James Joyce follow the route traveled by Leopold Bloom in the novel Ulysses. Let me make a note of that. Ireland doesn't like pubs anymore. It's as if Danish people stopped liking sleek modern design. It... <coughs> oh, you shipped yourself here? No, it's how you fly coach on Delta now. People can't smoke indoors in Ireland. Then you let them open a smoke easy. So oh, it's a smoke easy, Your Honor, then. So it's escaping you're thinking of, then? I can't tell if those are questions or statements. America is the New York Yankees of countries. Powerful and respected until the year 2000. Let me say I've always admired the Irish, Newt Brockney, Larry Bird, and especially Mr. Potato Head. Go on. Who does smoking actually hurt? The smokers, those around him, and the unborn children of the pregnant women we let in free on expectant mother's drink-free night. I'm glad I could see Ireland again. It got a lot nicer since we sent all our incompetent half-wits to America, where you, for some reason, made them police officers. <laughs> I love Paris. The women, the wine, the everything except their lame version of rock and roll. Rock and roll! Rock and roll! Let us stroll down Main Street, you're Disney. <laughs> Homie! 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 Yes! Canada turns to its most famous director, Ivan Reitman. Who are you gonna call? Albania! Who are you gonna call? Algeria! We release the Canadian dove, the beaver! I'm snowboarding with my new Canadian friend, Milhus. Hey, Bert! Your sister's hotter than a Calgary brush fire. Mind if I ask a root? Can I have it on account? On account of I want it? <laughs> you heard that one, huh? No, it's just not funny the first time. Just take a... <laughs> <laughs> just sharing my music with the good people of Vancouver. A dime? What do you think I am? A payphone from 1980? Your dress is covered with pins. There is no dress. It's just pins. Without Homer, I'm a broom without a stone. Wow, that's love, Seymour. I'm glad you saw it once before you died. Oh my, that delivery has less juice than Sunny Delight. Marge Simpson looks hurt. This is the sort of bittersweet melodrama Olympic coverage feeds on, I admit it. We're vampires who suck on shattered dreams. It appears Team Sweden will clinch the gold, and they are over the moon with joy. Joy is but the shadow pain casts. Give me your pins. All of them. I said all of them. <sighs> Traded away my pearls. Oh, without them, I'm just a big Maggie. Now.
not even his first ever pin from the 2014 Winter Olympics. His name is Fatov. He represents the Russian spirit of sloth and alcoholism. We'll return to sudden death overtime and the gold medal hockey game between Russia and the U.S. in a moment. But first, the forfeiture signing ceremony. Team captain Seymour Skinner is preparing to sign. There's been some question as to whether he'll use his middle name. I guess we're about to find out. Let's give the Olympics a miracle. But this time on ice. Sacre bleu. Sacred blue. I'm taking you out for pizza and ice cream. And we can sit at the same table. L'chaim! Just tell them what they want to hear! I can't! Latkes aren't as good as American pancakes! God, they're okay with applesauce! True enough. Every Jew should make a pilgrimage to Israel before he dies. Don't want to end up in hell! Jews don't believe in hell. No hell? Thank you, kid! You made my day! You're being paid to clean the gutters. This country's so historic. For all we know, Jesus could have given a talk in conference room C. I speak the English with a slight accent. This is because, as you probably guessed, I used to live in London. And that is why I sound like Hugh Grant. But it says here in the brochure... Brochure? Who wrote your brochure? The same schmuck who wrote the New Testament? <gasps> the old city. Where B.C. turned into A.D. Let's go! We can see the Stations of the Cross. After we see the Stations of the Omelette Bar. Let's just put it to a vote. Mm. Mm. I can't believe we lost, Reverend. Mm-hmm. Well, your Jesus, who was a native-born Israeli, by the way, sandal circumcised, perfect English accent, the whole deal, this is where he had his last supper. Please help Homer experience the redemptive power of this sacred land. <gasps> He's going for the record! He's going for the record! Do you think you could show just the slightest bit of reverence? I'm just here to see some sights, try goofy new food, and spread some shekels with my Carolina Panthers credit card. Do you deliver falafels to the top of Mount Zion? I'd like a large falafel with pepperoni, sausage, and extra cheese. Yes, I know what a falafel is. What are you up to? Reading prayers and ignoring them, just like God. Hey, this one's from you. Dear Lord, don't let Marge find out the hotel leaves chocolates on the pillows at night. Thank you for letting me see this wonderful place where the end of the world will soon begin. We've all got our crosses to bear. Me, Homer, you, the cross. You come all the way to Jerusalem, the happiest place on earth, and all the photos in your camera are of funny soda pops. A sand horse, car of the desert. Hmm. Nothing like a tall glass of lukewarm water to jekyll down this hide. Good luck surviving without me. I am the Messiah come to save the world. Look upon me and shudder. I already do that. Have you ever noticed that Dad always gets the disease they write about in the in-flight magazine? Before you go in, you fill out comment card. Okay. Christians, Muslims, and Jews... I have come to gather you into a new faith. You shall be called Chris Mew Jews. Aren't all religions the same? They tell you what to eat, when to pray. Celebrate your commonality. Some of us don't eat pork. Some of us don't eat shellfish. But all of us love chicken. Spread the word. Peace and chicken. Don't listen to this fat idiot. I am your messiah. Uh-oh. Got another case of Jerusalem syndrome. This looks like a job for the Messiah. Won't somebody help us? See? Si. Um, how do you say taco in Mexican? Taco. Yes, that's exactly the word I want to translate. Taco. Uh, just give me one of those crispy shells with meat in it. Taco. Oh. You are in Holland, you dropped the monkey from the Eiffel Tower. 
Uh-huh. In Greece, you committed something called aggravated hey-hey. Forgot about that one. You stole the entire act of our beloved clown, Van Krusten. You have stolen all my joke and chortles. Ah! I am really, really sorry for everything I've been charged with and all the stuff you don't know about yet. You must prove that you have made a singular contribution to Western culture. You gotta find a clip that proves Krusty's made a cultural contribution. I thought you Euro jerks loved unfunny comedy. We don't put Euro in front of everything. Euro guards, take him away in Euro cuffs. We found something to save Krusty. And it's on this DVD. My dressing room has regular potato chips, but my contract specifically stated half regular, half ruffled. The gig's off. I ain't gonna play, Sun City. Three days later, South Africa freed Nelson Mandela from prison. Krusty's a clown. Your selfishness has saved the world. Case dismissed. Where's the nearest place I can score a little victory weed? That would be the courthouse cafeteria. I'll be right there. Order me um, a raspberry crepe and a brick of hash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your knowledge helped us build this plant. We would like you to have the honor of cutting the ceremonial ribbon. Hey, who can take me to the airport for less than $20? I can stand here all day. After this, I'll be lucky to get work on a clothing optional Jimmy Buffett cruise. That's fair. Sorry. I deserve it. Ow! I just needed to get that out of my system. The slide's just like our cruise. A short, awesome thing that shows you how boring the rest of your life is. But the trick is to enjoy the few perfect experiences we're given in the moment. Stop thinking about fun and have it! Our country is very small, very judgmental, and very nosy. Ingmar Ungmason, how progresses your gonorrhea? It heals, but slowly. The enemy invaded, laying waste to our lava fields, burning our sweaters, and feasting upon our tiny horses. Oh, man, stakeouts are so boring. I wish I had something to look at. Ah, I guess I'll just read the car rental contract again. Give us some answers or you'll get a mouthful of rotten shark fermented in its own urine. No, no, anything but the inedible, repulsive food of my native land. Carl, it's World War II all over again. America kicks Iceland's ass. Guys, do you think Carl was right? What if we're not real friends? Maybe we are just lonely guys who do guy stuff. <laughs> Is destroying something he cares that much about really going to make you feel good? Well, we won't know that till after. Take, Take a, break a break from, from your, your dreary lives, lives to hear Americans lecture you. you. Is this everyone? No. Yes. You've managed to survive on a crap hole island that looks like the moon and smells like rotten eggs. <laughs> <laughs> The mighty Brazilian squad features the greatest master of the fake injury soccer has ever known, El Divo. Ah! Let's play human foosball! How did he get those shorts on over that arse? Rumor has it they employed a team of pullers. Here you go, honey. How'd you eat the meat without the vegetables? Well, the stomach wants what it wants. The only thing that keeps me from living here is that fish that swims up your pea stream. That is a deal breaker. I still can't believe the yellow and red cards don't stand for mustard and ketchup. While you were out, the gamblers sent up gold frosted donuts, a chocolate bowling ball, and a fresh pork sandwich. Oof, how fresh. <laughs> Give the donuts to the hotel staff, release the pig and the bowling ball into the wild. And now I'm a man in pain in the naughtiest city since San Francisco turned all nerdy. What the hell are you doing? It's okay, I'm an American. Oh, oh, okay. Give me another. All right, but we've run out of sugar cane. I carry my own. 
Will it be a German blitzkrieg or a Brazilian waxing? Nazis! Nazi harbourers. Guys, guys, you're both right. You make sure Brazil wins and we give you one million dollars. If I bet it, I could double it. But on who? The drawing you made of me when you were three was far from a perfect likeness. You put it on the fridge. It was pity fridged. If I die, I'll be doing the thing I love the most. Trying not to get killed. I want to say something. You have one minute. Wait, let it get to the twelve. Now. We owe a debt to the Simpsons that can never be repaid. All that she did was switch seats on a plane. On a 15-hour flight! I've never seen anything so beautiful. So, back home, we call this the tire fire. Man, look at those gargoyles. That's from back when religion still knew how to scare the crap out of you. Why are you carrying that briefcase? I just brought a little work. You don't even bring your work to work. I just want this family to have one trip that's great. Not like Australia or Brazil. Japan, London, China. You'll be a snake that lives in Paris. It's a children's book that writes itself. We treat our high fashion animals in the most humane manner. <gasps> what is it, Lisa? Do you see a Burger King? How old are you? Eight. Plebeian. Yes, this is my battle of wrestling. Unless Napoleon had a more famous defeat I'm not aware of. Better cops this one. Let's see if the police dogs can do anything. With my cataracts, everything's a six. Uh... We could go see Mario Hemingway's grandfather's house. Hmm, apparently he was a writer, like Mindy Kaling. Let me just take one last good look at my granddaughter so she'll remember her granddad. How can anyone be so glum in front of that sign? All I can offer is this uh, festive shirt. Return the shirt after he, you know. <laughs> Little triangle windows that weren't good for nothing. Car keys that don't go bloopity bloop. You've taken my dad back to a simpler time when our only worry was being obliterated by nuclear weapons. That's the first time I've seen him get a woman's attention without flatlining. Cuba's great. It's like Florida before all the Cubans came. Yes, yes, the future of Angola is the future of Cuba. You expect me to give you the money I was going to leave to Homer? Okay, I'm in. Ah! We'll fix that. See? Fixed. You're always weak in the knees. And because I had to sell my cartilage in the 70s, and that cartilage became part of Hank Aaron's wrist. All you see in me is a burden. Black Ops Department. Right downstairs, Mr. Simpson. Thank you. Hmm, how do they know my name? Now you have to do a favor for us. How many baseball players can you sneak home with you? Well, I'd have to ask my wife, but I'd say 12. This guy was the biggest drug lord in North American history. And this guy invented Ticketmaster. <laughs> you charge me to sell me something. Pleased to meet you, sir. So efficient. First, a nap.
There are big reasons why we can't live here. I'm okay with nuclear power, but wind power? Frankly, it sounds dangerous. I can't believe you're talking about leaving Springfield. That's where all my friends are. Do you think I'm handsome? Well, yes, I was going to mention it. I am a Danish four. I'm an American nine. In America, we have great TV channels like BBC America and a factory for cheesecakes. A factory! Time to get you in the hospital so we can go home. Kronberg Castle. Why didn't I think of it? Probably because I never heard of it. We've got to get back to America. The greatest country on earth. 1917 to 2016. I've never met a man with empathy so deep he weeps in public. I cry, I blubber. Sometimes stuff comes out of my nose. Let us dance our traditional dance of passion. Okay. The Danes eat more ice cream than any other people, yet their rate of heart disease is... Oh, it's their number one cause of death. Well, it's in the shower. The washing machine won't even hold one pair of your underpants. I heard the schools are really great here. I'm out. Pretzels, M&Ms. Pringles! It's a complete Thanksgiving dinner! I'm always the one that has to step down! That's why I chose you. You've got rejection muscle. You're our Rudy. Rudy got to play! I didn't say which Rudy. Are you sure these are safe here? No. This whole temple is a scam to collect smelly shoes. I knew it. Yes! You've achieved Zen! Now you just have to do two more. Huh. <gasps> it is the Buddha! Great, now I feel guilty I stole his shoes. If I win, I'll be the most famous girl gamer of all time. Also, if I lose. Am I in heaven? Even better, eh? You're in beautiful Canada, is what I'd say if Canadians were in too modest to brag. But we are. I recommend a five-day stay. Of course. We'll take out a third mortgage. You're in Canada now, where your health care is free! Why can't America do that? She's delirious, Doc. America can't pay for health care and give corporations the tax breaks they so desperately need. I must keep you in Canada, where you'll be safe and assigned your own hockey team. Please, not Ottawa. Yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry. She's the heart and soul of this family. Hey, what am I? You're the spleen. We don't know what it does, and we don't care. You can't separate us from our child? That's America's thing! Where should we go for dinner tonight? Harvey's or Swiss Chalet? How about Mr. Submarine? Don't forget Humpty's. Restaurant chains I never heard of. The science textbooks acknowledge climate change. Ooh, I'd like to try out for Alfred. So you're asking directly for something you want. Well, that's not very Canadian, but I like it. What's this blue stuff, eh? Oh, um, it's called a car tail. Stupid new American fad. Oh, we'll get it in six months. Move along. Are you sure you didn't play the blues because slow tempos are easier? Maybe a little. Their Fox News is just news about foxes! Sorry, but as it now says on the Statue of Liberty, no re-entry without hand stamp. Where do you get the hand stamp? There isn't one. America's like a great boyfriend that maybe got a little fat and lost a little hair. Get your ass back over here! Yes, sir, Satchmo! America ain't perfect, but it's my job to make it better. It's legal now. What is past the Dutch? We're out of this hellhole. Who made my bed? Least I could do. He will get you across the river. Nous allons vous faire traverser la rivière. God, it wastes so much time saying everything twice. You're abandoning us in the middle of a frozen river? Canadians really can be jerks. Yes, for every Martin Short, there is no shortage of Shatners. Guess who's here to save the day? 
Why did you get a truck so big? It's the smallest one Detroit makes. I know one place where there's always plenty of room. Every time a fruit meets a booze, a magic vacation is born. Ah, does a mama possum skip church on Sundays? Mm. I bet she does. We should be lying on the beach like a lost flip-flop. <laughs> Grappling hook made of Patty's underwire bra and Dad's bathing suit drawstring. Will it reach? Ugh. Uh, I don't want to learn anything else about this family. It's too late. <laughs> oh my god, it's perfect. You look good, and I look better. Post it, post it. All I wanted was for my friends to be jealous of me. You're dating a homer. And we're gonna have to live in our car, and the seats in our car are sticky, even though they're cloth. Don't you want to come zip lining and ruin the trip some more? Well, I would like to agree with my wife that it's better we leave. Lisa was right. We really couldn't afford this trip. I know you feel bad, Mom, but the lady is a homer. Oh. Mm. I'm gonna put a V of my foot in your ass if you don't give me back my money. <laughs> <laughs>